hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be putting some wig clips in our wig so these things won't be slipping and sliding and i look so freaking bald head but we gonna throw this wig on and we gonna style it and get on out the door so you need some wig clips i prefer these i got these from amazon please do not get the clips that snap and snag baby because you're not gonna have any edges left after they get done with you tearing up your edges you're gonna need needle and thread and you're gonna also need your wig of course you need to have something to put your wig clips in, girl. And this is a 4x4 um, lace closure wig. And you're also going to need some foam or edge control and a brush comb, you know, to do your edges. Y'all know. So what I'm doing here, I'm just threading my needle. And what I like to do, I like to actually give me more thread than allow. And y'all finna see me be so country, y'all. I'm finna put this needle in my mouth. <laughs> and knot it so when i knot my needles i actually knot them maybe two or three times try and get it in the same spot so you can have like a bulky knot so that way it won't slip through your um through your wig cap y'all because sometimes if you just do one knot that thing is gonna slide right on through that wig cap like like what did you do so at least do two or three knots to give you some bulkiness y'all okay Now we're going to sew our wig clips in. I'm placing one in the back and two in the sides actually. So here I'm showing you the placement of the wig clip. Place the wig clip inside. Do not place it outside because you're going to have combs coming down your neck. And that's not cute. And that's the incorrect way to place a wig, a wig clip into your wig. Okay. So place it on the inside. And what you see me do, I'm not, I'm not sewing this no special way y'all. I'm just. I'm just looping, just going around and around and around, okay, until I feel like it has enough, it's secure enough on the wig um, itself. So, actually, my thread kind of got, like, tangled, but it's all good. Um, so, just keep working your way on around until you feel like you are secure enough with the wig clip and knot it. And when I say knot it, I mean knot it at least two or three times as well but if you want to hide the knot inside the wig do it please don't have your wig um not hanging on the outside where somebody can see it Now we finna do the same thing to the other side on this wig clip in the back y'all. It's like, I, I kid you not, it takes you less than five minutes to put in some wig clips. But make sure you put in enough to where you feel like that's enough for you and that your wig is secure. Now if you need five wig clips, by all means do five. But I just need three girl. I don't need all those wig clips in my cap. And if you wanted to, you could put an elastic band in there. But I didn't put an elastic band because my head is already big enough. And it fits just fine underneath this wig. So that's what it looks like once y'all are done with the back. And you're going to do the same thing to the sides. And what I noticed um, from me wearing this, I actually put this wig clip, these two in the front. I put them down too low. Like they're actually sitting on my temple. And so... Um, I should have just cut some of the excess fabric off, but it's all good. Because if you have, like, ankle braids, you know, if you somebody actually braided your edges down for you or gave you two front braids that go down, um, this would be perfect. So, but if you don't have that and you just have, like, your hair like mine and two braids, you should be fine as well. Because I don't have any problems with slipping and sliding either. Um, and also, you can use a, what is these things called? The, like a a velvet wig grip and that'll keep your wig in place as well y'all so remember to tie your knot off on your wig clips so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like when i'm all done i can't talk uh, so now we finna put this wig on 
and we finna style a little bit and we are finna go to work <laughs> So I always put your wig on from the back first and then, you know, pull it to the front so you can kind of style it a little bit and make sure your wig clips are in place and that everything is all good. So now we're going to do our edges and I actually cut some baby hairs into this, but I'm no baby hair expert child. I just need a little something to make my forehead not look so big because it's already big as it is. And I had to put this foam on off camera. So now that you've applied your foam or your edge, tie your hair down with something. I just used some wrap strips because I couldn't find my do-rag, well, my satin do-rag or scarf. Um, so yeah, yeah, my head is pretty doggone big. Like I can't even, I have to hold this thing in place. That's how big my head is, unfortunately. But it's a lot of good thoughts going on in here. So, and I actually blow dried this to speed up the time. So that's what my little edges look like now, okay? So we're just gonna style this hair a little bit, brush it out. I don't really do too much to this hair, and if you guys want to know more about this hair, um, I can actually leave a link to the video where I reviewed it. And this hair is from Sonosha Hair. This is their Deep Wave. So I just leave a link in an iCard in the video somewhere or at the end, and y'all can just check that out. So we're done, all right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't let your wig slide back. Bye!